Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, in continuation with my previous class, that uh, motion of the follower, that uh, there are the four different type of follower motion for radial cam. Radial cam follower mechanism we will consider here. So you already know that uh, uniform motion, that means the motion with the constant velocity, its practical difficulties and uh, which way you have to modify so that you can implement in practice that you have already know. You also know the uniform acceleration and deceleration motion, that means the parabolic motion. Today I like to discuss about the simple harmonic motion and the cycloidal motion. So in uniform motion or the motion with the constant velocity, you have seen that velocity, say I have considered only the your right part of your follower. So uh, as you have seen that uh, during the right part, the velocity is constant. And because of that, your displacement diagram will be the straight line and acceleration is zero. But at the beginning and the end, the acceleration is discontinuous. And uh, we have derived the equations of the displacement equation uh, in terms of y equal to c cos theta. We have also found out the velocity dy dt and the acceleration dv dt. And in order to avoid these practical difficulties, that means the discontinuity and acceleration at the starting and end point, what we did is uh, used gradual increase of velocity instead of instantaneous increase of velocity. Gradually, from its velocity will increase from zero to the maximum value with a very small time. And uh, corresponding to that displacement diagram change that the parabolic distribution of the displacement at the beginning and the end of the rise phase. And this is called the uh, your linear with the parabolic blend linear displacement along with the parabolic blend at the two end so in order to avoid this practical difficulties so we have also discussed about the uniform acceleration and deceleration motion that means parabolic motion where the your uh, right part have a two phases or uh, two periods acceleration period of the right and the retardation period of the rise and we have derived the formula uh, that means the acceler your say displacement formula for the acceleration period of the rise corresponding its velocity of the follower at that particular period and acceleration at that particular period and we have also discussed about the retardation period of the rise the retardation period of the rise the, that uh, uh, that uh, the, the another polynomial another uh, your parabolic equation and we have used c boundary condition to find out the coefficient c1 c2 and c3 and further we found out the velocity as well as the acceleration. Now today I like to discuss about the simple harmonic motion that we have started the uh, last class that uh, you, you, you already uh, you already know uh, how you can uh, write the displacement equations. So in simple harmonic motion uh, displacement diagram uh, as you know, the semicircle harmonic semi harmonic circle uh, uh, over which you just see uh, 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 you just see the point A when it is a t equal to zero, it will move to t equal to t that it covers the angle beta. That means angle on the harmonic circle covered during the time t the beta. And as you have seen that uh, uh, with respect to this reference, uh, uh, if it is total. Uh, uh, your uh, basically lift is h. That means the maximum displacement is h. That means the diameter of this circle is h. The radius will be h by two, and uh, your equation y. The with respect to this reference frame, uh, with respect to this point, uh, starting point uh, after t second, your uh, your displacement of the follower will be this amount, and displacement of the follower a b amount. Here you just see that is y, y equal to h by 2 minus h by 2 cos uh, beta that I have discussed in the last class. Now we just see as, as you know that uh, mm, uh, your uh, rise part or the rise of the follower, uh, follower displacement and the cam is rotated through an angle theta i. When the rise has been taking place h, that time cam will rotate an angle theta r i. 
Whereas the point on the harmonic circle, uh, how much it has been covered? It is covered 180 degree. That means pi radian. Now from there, you already uh, you have seen in the last class that uh, uh, the beta equals to the pi by uh, theta ri into theta. So cam rotation is proportional to angle turned by the point on the harmonic semicircle. So uh, when the harmonic semicircle, uh, when your a cam will rotate by the theta ri during the total lift h that time that uh, the point of the point on the harmonic semicircle covered pi so the, uh, the theta ri corresponding to pi that means beta and the, uh, you, you can already say that means when the cam will rotate theta amount so uh, that time uh, your point on the semi harmonic semicircle covers how much pi by theta ri into theta and that is equals to beta here. Yeah. So replace the beta. Beta equals to uh, uh, pi theta divided by theta ri where theta is varying from 0 to theta ri. So this is the displacement equation in the simple harmonic motion. I think I have discussed up to this in the last class. Now what we like to do that as yeah, you know the theta equal to omega t that means angular velocity of the cam is the omega. So uh, here I have just mistake this is a the omega will be there. So by mistake here uh, theta equals to omega t after the comma omega omega equal to angular velocity of the cam. Now y equal to h by 2 1 minus cos pi omega t by theta ri now you time differentiation both side you will get the velocity of the follower y dot equal to dy dt equals to this one and it will be h by 2 and when you differentiate the cosine of this one uh, pi omega theta ri will come out and cosine becomes sine and uh, you as it is with respect to t then it, this part differentiation will be only pi omega by theta r and here cosine becomes sine with the minus sign minus minus plus. So ultimately you will get the velocity equation. So h by 2 equals to pi pi by omega theta r i into sine of pi theta by theta r i similarly acceleration equation of the follower. So acceleration equation of the follower you just see check it again. It is dvd with respect to time you differentiate where theta equal to omega t. So is this uh, differentiation correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. It is. So that acceleration, acceleration of the follower, you just see the curve here, then uh, uh, that uh, uh, y is, you just see that differentiate it and plot it. So using MATLAB or using any other means, you just plot it, then you, you, you will see this type of uh, uh, curve of the velocity as well as after that the acceleration. Now, uh, 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 is oh, where the velocity is maximum in the right portion say in the right portion of the this is the right portion no? so from here to here it is the right portion of the car so where the your uh, 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 this this one is the right portion of the car up to this for at the junction Hello? Sir, at theta equal to theta ri by 2. So you are not audible? It, sir. Said you were muted, sir. 
सर यू आर म्यूटेड Just a minute. And now it is visible. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you just see here that, that uh, in this right period there is uh, uh, you can see that uh, uh, from here to uh, here is your uh, symbolic uh, sim uh, simple harmonic motion. And the velocity is this one, and acceleration pattern is this one. But where is the velocity maximum? So how will find out where is the velocity maximum? Though it has been plotted so by you plot it in your <laughs> MATLAB, then you can easily observe that one where is the maximum. But otherwise, mathematically, how will find out wh where the velocity is maximum? So for that, so send it a part point of inflection in displacement or theta graph. No, so that point the is graph. Uh, without plotting graph. So you will differentiate that the equation of V. Dv by dt is equal to zero. Sir, we will trace the change of the tangent in the displacement curve. And uh, where the uh, tangent in the displacement curve changes, that is the point of maximum. So sine will have maximum value as one. Uh, so you use your differential calculus concept, no maximum minima problem that you have learned in a class 11 or 12 might be. Or even in mathematics class, you know the maximum minima point. So what you can do, it is a V versus theta. That means where the slope is zero, no? Physically, when the uh, this curve slope is zero, there, there, there is either maxima or minima. What did you mean by slope? Slope of this curve in how mathematically mod, uh, how mathematically express the slope of this curve? DV by dt. DV theta. So you just do it DV theta and DV theta equals to zero. DV theta equals to uh, zero. So that will be your condition for the either the maxima or minima. So you, 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 you differentiate it with respect to theta and you will uh, check it with whatever I have did that is correct or not. Yes, sir. Correct, sir, definitely. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is, is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So at theta theta equals to theta ri by two. That means in the right zone, the, from here to here is theta ri. At at the th at theta equal to theta ri by two. That means in midpoint, your velocity will be maximum. So after differentiating. Uh, the equation of v with respect to theta putting zero now whether this particular point is your maximum point or minimum point how will check it if that is negative then that is the maximum so that part we just check it at the solution point theta equal to theta ri by two whether it is the plus or minus you check it and accordingly you decide it uh, a, a, it its value maximum value it will be the maximum one 
and v max will be put the value here and ultimately you are getting v max equal to h by 2 pi omega divided by theta r i because here it will be inside when you put the theta expression theta r i by 2 from sin pi by 2 that is equal to 1. Similarly, where will the acceleration is where the acceleration is maximum? How will you find where out? Where is zero. Uh, that means again, if you is at your a d a d theta equals to zero. Yes, sir. So at SLA, where, where a is the maximum, d a d theta is equal to zero, and differentiate it the your acceleration equation with respect to theta equate to zero, and you will get here theta equals to zero. And you also found that one that at the beginning that acceleration is maximum here. And how much it will be? Put the theta equals to zero in your acceleration equation, cos zero equals to one, then it will be h by two pi omega by theta r i whole square. Clear? Yes, sir. So this particular thing you just see there is uh, no abrupt change in acceleration. So it, it has some practical use of uh, this particular curve, but in there is a jerk at the initial in, in initial point. Jerk is the your time differentiation of acceleration equation, either jerk equation. So next we like to discuss about the cycloidal motion. So uh, uh, the problem regarding this, or uh, the the numerical problem, I will give at the end of the uh, this particular topics like cycloidal motion. So next topic is the cycloidal motion. Now what do you mean by cycloid? Can anyone tell me what is cycloid? So the locus Sorry. of a particular point uh, on the circumference of the circle traced while complete rotation. When? Sir, in pure Sir, flat. during pure rolling. Pure rolling. Pure pure rolling. rolling. When is the pure rolling on? On a flat surface. On a flat surface. On a flat straight line. So cycloid is when a locus of a point and the circumference of the circle, when circle will rolls over the straight line without without any slip. Okay. Without any sleep, when circle rolls over a fixed straight line, then any point on the circumference of the circle is basically traces the cycloid. But there are two more terms, hypocycloid and epicycloid. Can anyone tell me? Yes, sir. Sir, whenever on a curve. Hello. Sir, whenever uh, a smaller circle. Uh, uh, is rotated uh, see figure when your epicyclic epicycloid is locus of a point on the circumference of the circle that rolls without slipping on the circumference of the another circle outside Whereas hypocycloid, when the locus of a point on the circumference of the circle, which rolls without slipping inside the circumference of the another circle. Clear? AP means outside the circumference of the circle, another circle rolls. For hypo, it will be inside. Clear? But here, am I audible? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. So here we like to use the cycloid for the uh, your follower motion. So cycloidal motion, the displacement diagram you just see here. So equation of the cycle you have to remember uh, proof of this one is not required at this stage. It is already proven the cycloid expressed by uh, the equation y equals to h by pi into pi theta divided by theta ri minus h by 2 sine of twice pi theta by theta ri mathematically y equals to this one that you have to remember now if it is 
velocity how will do simple uh, y dot that means v equal to dy dt and dy dt means here you can write dy d theta into d theta dt d theta dt is the omega then dy d theta inside is a differentiated you will get this one and after manipulating you will get h into omega divided by theta ri one minus cosine of twice by theta by theta ri now anyone check this one and tell me whether it is correct or not a simple differentiation yes sir it is correct correct yes sir so next is the yes, acceleration sir. so uh, velocity equation again you time time differentiate it you will get the acceleration equation dv dt that means dv d theta into d theta dt and d theta dt equals to your omega and dv d theta you can carry out the this differentiation okay you just dif inside you this one you differentiate it with respect to t okay this part if you can differentiate with, with respect to theta so you will get this one so ultimately your acceleration equal, equation will be twice h pi into omega divided by theta ri whole square sine of twice pi theta by theta ri clear now again where it will velocity will be maximum so again dv d theta equals to zero differentiate it equate both side and ultimately you will get theta equal to theta ri by two and put this value in your velocity equation you will get the v max Okay. Yes, sir. So this part you just uh, uh, keep some blank pages, and because you have to solve the numerical problem today, so you cycloidal motion you just write. No need to draw the graph. I you just write the mathematical equation first. Cycloidal motion. Then write down the equation, write down the velocity equation, write down the acceleration equation. Then I will give you the numerical problem. So all of you please write down.
Hello? Oh, yes, Hello? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got the acceleration equation. Yes, sir. So now you just do it that the same way. The V max. Divide it into. Divide theta, theta into theta. theta. Not Divide dt theta equals to zero because we are plotting mm. with respect to theta. V max. As you are plotting with respect to theta versus y versus theta. Or say theta versus y, theta versus v, theta versus acceleration. So with respect to theta differentiated equals to zero. From here you find out the theta. Once you know theta equal to theta ri by two, put it in the velocity equation, find out the v max equal to h omega dead by theta ri one minus cosine of how much cosine of pi. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Similarly, you find out the S max acceleration, maximum acceleration. Okay. D A D theta equal to zero. Find out and tell me. Hello. Sir, at theta equal to theta ri by four. Sir, yeah, four theta, 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 theta ri by four. Theta equal theta uh, theta ri by four. This is the correct one. And a max will be two h omega square pi by theta ri square. Two h omega by theta ri the whole square into pi. Yeah, so that's the correct one. Okay, so I think all of you have completed this particular part. If not, quickly do it. So next I like to tell you the distribution of see here that here the distribution is check it that uh, uh, you already found out where it is the maximum in case of a you just see that whatever you have found that uh, uh, acceleration is maximum when uh, theta value is theta ri by 4 so up to this is theta ri so up to theta ri that means acceleration is maximum in theta ri by 4 so it is a, whatever you got it you, you graphically you can also see so this is uh, up to theta ri theta ri by 2 and this is theta ri by 4 so here the acceleration is maximum theta ri by 2 their velocity is maximum and you see jark is also here there is uh, no such discontinuity in the jark if you can